Hey guys, Nurse Mike here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now, before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right, guys, let's begin. So how do you tell the difference between DKA and HHNS? Well, DKA is more common in type 1 diabetes and HHNS for type 2. So think which letter comes first in the alphabet. Well, guys, D comes first, so it's type 1, and H comes second, so that's how you know it's type 2. Now, what is DKA? Well, guys, let the name help you. Diabetic ketoacidosis. There is no insulin produced since it's type 1, guys. We have none. The body killed its own pancreas. And as usual, no insulin means no sugar in the cell. Therefore, the body must burn fat for fuel, resulting in fat waste, and ketone bodies are produced. Kind of like how a diesel engine blows off a lot of exhaust, ketone bodies are very acidic wastes. So we have high acid in DKA, or diabetic ketoacidosis. Now type 2, we have few insulins barely working. So HHNS, or just HHS, let the name help you. So hyperglycemic, we have the higher sugar. Hyperosmolar, we have very thick dehydrated blood. Guys, huge dehydration here. And non-ketonic, we have no ketones and S is for syndrome. Now, since the body has barely enough insulin to put sugar into the cell, well, the body burns sugar for fuel, so we don't get those ketone bodies. So guys, think, type two, you have a few insulins working, so no fat burn, no ketones, since the body's burning glucose. Now, typically, DKA has a faster onset, and consequently, it's easier to fix, since the patients are young with type one diabetes. And HHNS is a slower onset with older patients. So guys, it's harder to fix HHNS. Now for the causes. DKA, remember the three S's, like high sugar. So sepsis, like infection, guys, always an NCLEX favorite. The number one cause of DKA is infection. Second S is for stress, like surgeries, or even skipping insulin. Guys, kids in type 1 will get the flu or an infection and then boom, end up in DKA. Or they'll go to surgery without increasing their insulin dose and then bam, DKA. And similarly, on the other side, older patients in HHNS, commonly caused by illness and infections. So what are the main differences in the signs and symptoms? All right, guys, that wraps it up. DKA versus HHS. Thanks so much for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.